I completed the grand unified theory of physics and proved that God created the universe. First, according to classical physics, photons fly at the speed of light. But according to the theory of relativity, objects flying at the speed of light will slow down in time and compress in space. That is to say, according to classical physics and the theory of relativity, photons exist in two time and space for us observers at the same time. Isn't it a space-time tunnel to exist in two time and space at the same time? This is the essence of the wave-particle duality of photons. Among the two entities of the photon space-time tunnel, the entity flying at the speed of light exhibits the properties of electromagnetic waves, and the entity with slow speed and compressed space exhibits the properties of particles. The theory of relativity also says that gravity is an illusion of space-time curvature. The space-time in the space-time tunnel must be curved, which is the essence of gravity. According to quantum mechanics, the Earth is composed of elementary particles such as quarks. And elementary particles such as quarks also have wave-particle duality like photons. And wave-particle duality is the space-time tunnel. And the space-time tunnel produces gravity, which is the gravity of the Earth. The other three forces electromagnetic force, strong interaction force, and weak interaction force are also easy to explain. They should be the interaction between electromagnetic waves and electromagnetic waves. Space-time tunnels and space-time tunnels, and electromagnetic waves and space-time tunnels. Due to my limited mathematical level, I cannot derive their formulas. Those who are good at mathematics can try. Next, let's take a look at how the present affects the past in the photon double slit interference experiment. Now we know that photons are a space-time tunnel. So it is not difficult to understand that the present affects the past. Because photons are space-time tunnels. And both sides of the space-time tunnel are photon entities. The so-called future effects the past may be an illusion caused by measuring the two entities on both sides of the photon space-time tunnel. As for the observer effect, I think it should be like this. Observation must also be observed with light. And the light used for observation is also a space-time tunnel. These two space-time tunnels will definitely affect each other. It may be that the electromagnetic wave attribute entity of the photon used for the experiment passed through the space-time tunnel of the light used for observate, i.e. and passed through the baffle. And then the particle attribute entity of the photon used for the experiment hit the baffle, thus creating the illusion of the observer effect. What exactly happens in the double slit interference experiment? I think the truth will be revealed if I use my theory to do the experiment again. Here are some other contents of my grand unified theory. Quantum mechanics says that the matter in our universe is composed of some basic particles such as quarks that cannot be divided any further. According to the theory of relativity, matter is actually energy. Matter and energy are different forms of the same thing under different conditions. I think the origin of the universe is like this. At the moment of the birth of the universe, Countless divided energies that could no longer be divided splashed countless ripples in the uniform universe. These ripples are electromagnetic waves, which are also the strings in string theory. 
the electric field and magnetic field correspond to the vibration of time and space respectively. So electromagnetic waves can also be called space-time waves. Energy is the vibration of space-time. Each electromagnetic wave will generate a separate universe, thus forming countless parallel universes. Each parallel universe is the same size and completely overlaps. It is like God standing outside countless parallel universes. One foot stepped out the vibration of time, and the other foot stepped out the vibration of space. The vibration of time and space formed electromagnetic waves. Each electromagnetic wave will form an electromagnetic wave with particle attributes in all other parallel universes except the universe where it is located. This is the space-time tunnel, which is also the essence of wave-particle duality. Then the space-time tunnel of electromagnetic waves constitutes the matter of our universe. High-frequency electromagnetic waves generate space-time tunnels leading to the future, which is the matter we can see. And low-frequency electromagnetic waves generate space-time tunnels back to the past, which is the dark matter that scientists are looking for. Let's look at positive matter and negative matter. Everyone knows that when positive matter and negative matter meet, they will annihilate and turn all their mass into energy. And energy is electromagnetic waves. So the matter in our universe is indeed composed of electromagnetic waves. So quarks and other basic particles in quantum mechanics are also composed of electromagnetic waves. Quarks and other basic particles should be energy groups similar to space-time vortexes formed by multiple electromagnetic waves passing through space-time tunnel, as below are some other contents of my paper. The speed of light is not the fastest speed in the universe. The lower the frequency of electromagnetic waves, the faster the speed. Therefore, the speed of low-frequency electromagnetic waves exceeds the speed of light. And the speed of space-time expansion also exceeds the speed of light. So dark energy does not exist. Because the sum of the two entity speeds of the electromagnetic wave space-time tunnel must be equal to the speed of space-time expansion. When the speed of low-frequency electromagnetic waves exceeds the speed of space-time expansion, the entity speed of the particle attribute of the electromagnetic wave space-time tunnel will be negative, and a space-time tunnel back to the past will be formed, which is dark matter. After understanding the above content, quantum tunneling is easy to understand. Quantum tunneling is just a quantum passing through a space-time tunnel. And quantum entanglement should be to particle attribute entities at different positions on the same electromagnetic wave. Since my theory has no formula and no experiments, it may not be completely correct. But the general direction should be correct.